So, um, the focus of our work um, is malaria, which, um, as many people know, is a very important disease worldwide. Um, it kills lots of people, at least a million people each year. Um, when you're infected by the malaria parasite, which of course, as many people know, is spread by the bite of a mosquito, what happens is that the parasite invades your red blood cells. It divides within them, it replicates, and then eventually it ruptures the red cell and releases uh, invasive forms called merozoites. And those merozoites very rapidly bind to a new red cell and invade it. Now, we're interested in the process by which the parasite gets out of a red cell and into a new red cell, because if one can interfere with that, you could essentially block the life cycle of the parasite and prevent disease. Um, and what we know is that when the parasite, when the merozoite invades a new red cell, it sheds proteins from its surface. And those proteins are cut off the surface uh, through the action of an enzyme, a parasite enzyme, a proteolytic enzyme. Now, the, the focus of this study, this particular study, was to uh, investigate the shedding process and to try and work out its importance. Uh, and what we found is that this shedding needs to occur to some degree, otherwise the parasite can't invade a cell at all. But under conditions where you partially block the shedding, the parasite is more sensitive to antibodies that prevent invasion. And, um, and that means that essentially those antibodies are more efficient in preventing invasion when the shedding is partially blocked. Um, so why is this important? Well, it's important because this particular protein that we're interested in, AMA1, uh, is currently the focus of a lot of work attempting to develop a malaria vaccine. And what our, what our results tell us, what our findings tell us, is that drugs that interfere with the shedding of AMA1 um, are very likely to enhance the efficacy of vaccines focused on that protein.